Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market update dated the 30th of June, 2023. Another day, another high. The Indian equity benchmarks continued to climb new highs, catapulted by auto and information technology stocks on June 30th, with all sectors trading in the green. At close, the Sensex was up 803.14 points, or 1.26%. At 64,718.56, and the Nifty was up 216.90 points, or 1.14%, at 19,189, after it crossed 19,200 on June 30, supported by buying across the sectors. The biggest Nifty gainers of the day were M&M, Infosys, and Indusind Bank. The losers included Adani Ports, Adani Enterprises, and Apollo Hospital. They fell within the range of negative 0.56% to 2.29%. Talking about the corporate segment, we have. A homegrown Indian company will for the first time rank among the world's most valuable banks after completing a merger, marking a new challenger to the largest American and Chinese lenders occupying the coveted top spots. The tube of HDFC Bank Limited and its parent housing development finance corporation creates a lender that ranks fourth in equity market capitalization, behind J.P. Morgan Chase and Company. With the merger likely effective July 1, the new HDFC bank entity will have around 120 million customers, that's greater than the population of Germany. It'll also increase its branch network to over 8,300 and boast of total headcount of more than 100 and 77,000 employees. HDFC surges ahead of banks including HSBC Holdings PLC and Citigroup Incoeporation. The bank will also leave behind its Indian peers State Bank of India and Isisai Bank, with market capitalizations of about $62 billion and $79 billion, respectively, as of June 22. Online food delivery firm Zomato Limited on Friday introduced an open data analysis platform for food trends aimed to help its restaurant partners in taking a data-driven approach on prices, dishes, and location. Restaurant partners can use these insights to customize their strategies and undertake data-driven decisions to accelerate and amplify their success. It has been introduced with an aim to support both current and budding restaurant partners in taking a data-driven approach towards decision-making. State-owned Power Grid Corporation of India Limited on Wednesday, June 28 said its board has approved three investment proposals worth 389 rupees crore. The first investment proposal is for a change in scope for the establishment of a dedicated telecom network for national transmission, asset management center at an estimated cost of 164.38 rupees crore. The ICT augmentation at Navsari is scheduled to be commissioned in the matching time frame of the transmission system for Evacuation of an additional 7 gigawatt RE power from Kavda Re Park under Phase 3, Part B, which is currently anticipated by October 22, 2025. Goldman Sachs Trust 2. Goldman Sachs GQG Partners International Opportunities Fund has bought an additional 1.19 crore equity shares, or 0.75% stake in the renewable energy company via open market transactions at an average price of 920.05 rupees per share. However, promoter group entity Infinite Trade and Investment Limited sold 4.6 crore shares, or 2.9% stake in the firm at an average price of 920.03 rupees per share. The Tata Group company has entered into an agreement to acquire US-based Calera Inc., which has subsidiaries in United States of America, Italy, India, UAE, Germany, UK, Dominican Republic, Mexico, Africa, and Canada. Calera, which provides mobile communication services, will give direct opportunity for Tata Communications to expand its business on a global scale. The acquisition is expected to be completed within six to nine months, and the purchase consideration of $7.25 per share will be in cash only. The aggregate consideration is expected to be around $100 million. Shulpa Medicare in daily time frame is trading around 284.25 points with a change of 15.43%, and is trading with a net volume of around 10.25 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 255.35 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 70.52. 
for stocks to watch, we have. Wipro looks good on current market price of 389. It can be bought at 390 rupees keeping target of 423 rupees with stop loss of 370. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.